I noticed that my jicama was throwing seed pods, so I'm like, uh, I need to harvest my jicama. And I pulled it off. I was trying to pull it off, but it's pretty stuck in there. And we have a jicama with another baby jicama. Now, I don't know if it's going to be fibrous since it was already trying to make um, seeds. We're going to try it. Let's see what this jicama has for us. Oh, it's little. It's little. Oh, well. So here's the thing. I did not fertilize and I did not water. It was basically get what you can, survive on its own. With jicama, the leaves are poisonous, the seed pods are poisonous, the flowers are poisonous. All you can eat is the root. As you can see here, it was already starting to go to flower. So I decided to pull it off because this one had already gone to flower and had already um, made a seed pod. And if you see, um, it definitely, it's definitely bigger. I guess I'll, I'll try right now. I'll open it up and see if it's not too fibrous. For those who are not familiar with jicama, it tastes very crispy, very crunchy, and this is how you know you have fresh jicama. You could peel it like a banana. If you have, if you ever bought um, jicama from the store, um, the skin is gonna be so tough. Basically, like a crunchy, um, mild apple cucumbery taste. So I got the bigger one, and it's it's good. It's sweet. It is um, a little bit less crunchy than the smaller one, but it's still so good and it's still very juicy. So for a crop that I did not fertilize, I did not water consistently. It is definitely a survivor crop. You just put it in and forget it and you have something at the end of the season. Um, the leaves have um, basically no bugs bother it. Um, the leaves are poisonous. It has some kind of like insecticide um, component to the leaves. So basically no bugs get to them. Um, really easy, really cool, um, very filling. So give it a try, jicama. You got lemon, salt, tahini, a little chili powder. Some people even like fry it. I use this like um like a fruit vegetable kind of snack. Try it. 